Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, my name is Sergio Arispe. I work with the Business Automation Workflow Support Team. Today, I will be discussing how to use the REST API to move a token. This action will move a task, otherwise known as a token, from one place of your process model to another specific place in the process model. Before we, we begin, the process action policies govern security permissions for token management features. Before you move tokens, ensure the action move token action policy is configured to allow you to move tokens and that you are a member of the default security group that is assigned to the action policy. I have included a link in the comments section with a video explaining how to modify action policies for BPM. I will be using the BPM REST API tester tool to demonstrate the action move token action. This tool creates a working URL that could be used outside of this tool for similar actions. However, you would need to replace the necessary parameter. The action move token action can be found in the IBM Business Automation Workflow REST APIs under Process APIs, scroll down and click on Move Token. We need to provide the information for the following parameters of the API. The action, which is Move Token, the instance ID, which is the instance ID number of the process instance containing tokens to be moved. The token ID is the token ID number of the token you want to move and the target step ID is the ID number of the new process step you are moving the token to. There's also a resume value. Uh, this, the action is used to resume the instance after moving the token and it's set to true or false. The default value here is true. We will be using an out of the box model named advanced HR open new position to demonstrate. First, we open BPM using the web designer tool we want to get to the inspector portion to start tasks, gather the required information, and to validate the action move token work as expected. I can click on the run button right over here with my model open to start the task and gather the needed information. I'll also verify the task is also visible in process portal. So here I'm clicking run. You can see the token here. In process portal, I get a new submit job requisition. Quickly going back to the REST API tool, I can see that I need the process instance ID, the token ID, and the target ID. So let's go back to the inspector tool. In the, in the inspector tool, we can see the instance ID is 11. Uh, we can go to the REST API and, and enter that there. So instance ID 11. The token ID is specified in the first task of the model and is 4. We'll go ahead and enter that into the REST API tool. Now let's say I want to move this token from subjip, Submit Job Requisition to Select Candidate for Interview. I click on the task where I want to move this token to and find the target step ID in the general tab labeled ID. Copy it and paste it into the REST API tester tool. I can now execute the call. Let me this, execute the call. I can see the status 200 of the REST API here. And the URL that could be used outside of the REST API tool. I'll go back to the Web Designer tool and refresh to see the token has in fact been moved. From submit to select candidate. I can also validate the token move to the process portal here. Select candidate for interview. This concludes a demonstration of Action Move Token. There is a link in the comment section on modifying the process portal action policies. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.